Hi everybody, thanks for joining us right now. All new tonight at 530, a warning for parents. The latest TikTok challenge could actually get your trouble, your child into some big trouble. Yes, it could, and here's why. It involves stealing or damaging property, and officials in Enfield say they're already dealing with it. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now. He is in Enfield with more on what this is all about. Matthew. Yeah, Mark and Aaron, you know, we've seen these challenges go viral before. You know, we had kids eating Tide Pods or cinnamon and going to the hospital. Well, this one involves them taking big items like sinks or paper towel dispensers from their own school. There was one or two kids that um, were thinking about it. Bradley Hamry is just a few weeks into his freshman year at Enfield High and has already gotten familiar with the latest social media challenge, Devious Licks. They almost did it, but they didn't. This challenge has gone viral on TikTok with kids from around the country showing off the biggest item they could take from their school. I did say that it's probably not the best idea, um, but I didn't really get too involved. While Bradley was successful in convincing his peers not to do it, others at Enfield High didn't heed that call. Superintendent Chris Dresick confirms this school has had items stolen. A rug was taken but recovered. Dresick says there are other undisclosed items that they're still trying to track down. It doesn't make sense because there's no reason to need a rug or anything of that matter. Kids being kids, but they're swayed very easily with social media lately. so. It's a difficult time. Parents like Jen Higgins are now going to have a talk with their kids about the dangers and consequences that come with social media while TikTok is stepping up. Take a look. They've removed results for searches of devious licks while issuing this statement. Quote, we expect our community to create responsibly online and in real life. We're removing content and redirecting hashtags and search results to our community guidelines to discourage such behavior. Please be kind to your schools and teachers. So we talked with Enfield police and they're hoping that this will be a wake up call. They say for the smaller items that could be sent to the juvenile review board. But if they're taking big ticket or expensive items, that could be a felony and a juvenile summons could be issued. That's the latest live here in Enfield tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.